dear friends when you are updating any of the mac os to a latest version or the new updates when you are trying to update suppose if i am updating mac os ventura to the new version when you are putting the administrator password and username even you are an administrator it won't accept the username and password it will say it's wrong but this is the password this is the correct password but it's not accepting the password so i'll show you how to resolve this issue it is very simple um, actually it is because uh, the bootstrap token is not enabled for this user when you are preparing your mac for the first time when you are creating a user that user will be bootstrap token enabled by default and when you want to update you need to log out from this and log into that user and you need to update the mac os this is what normally people are doing so i'll show you how to give permission update permission to this user or the logged in user other than the user which we created for the first time for this you need to know the password for the other user which you created for the first time for resolving this issue your computer should be supervised by an mdm server otherwise the solution which i am giving you won't work okay so i'll show you how to do it for that you need to click on this terminal button type sudo profiles install hyphen type boot strap token click enter it will ask you the current logged in username and password then it will ask you to enter the admin username and password this username and password must be the password which you have created for the first time means this password must be the password which you have created while you are preparing your macbook that user only has the bootstrap token enabled now so in my case my first user was home one so after entering the first username and password it enabled the bootstrap token for the current user then you need to check for the status of the bootstrap token sudo profiles status hyphen type bootstrap token enter so it's enabled the bootstrap token for the current user then quit this terminal restart your computer so after restarting your computer if you are going to software update and click on install now if you are putting the password again it will accept your password and it will update your mac os to the latest version so this is the steps to enable bootstrap token and uh, you can install directly from the
current logged in user which has admin privilege it won't make or prompt for the password and username again that's all for today thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe